Hello there, everyone. Welcome, welcome back to a quick and dirty uh, bonus episode of Kingdom Hearts Final Mix for the PC. Uh, this episode is mainly just going to be just like a, a little treasure hunt where I go and uh, collect all the uh, treasures in the in the game because we don't have all of them and now we have uh, and now we have all of the uh, possible movement abilities so we can go and collect all of them. Also, you may see that we're using a different save file. This is the save file we will continue with from now on. Save file 30. We are level 37. Yes, it's lower than we were before, but I prefer the save file. And I'll explain why in the normal episode. Episode 10. This is basically episode 9.5. So, anyways, let's jump in. Now, I'm... Uh, I've mentioned this before about clo the clock tower and the bonus prizes you can get. I'll go ahead and tell you right now what you can get for the for each window. When the 1 o'clock window is open, you can get an Aura Calcum. When the 2 o'clock window is open, you can get a Power Up at 3 o'clock. The Mithril Shard at 4 o'clock. The a Power Up at 5 o'clock. An AP Up at 6 o'clock. A Mithril at 7. An AP Up. At 8, a defense up. At 9, an Aura Calcum. At 10, a defense up. 11, a Mithril Shard. And 12, a Mega Elixir. And of course, those hours correspond with your game time. So, at this current time, I have gotten the 5 and 6 o'clock windows... And the 5, 6, and 7 o'clock windows. And I can get the 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 uh, at those corresponding hours. And then I'll get the 1 o'clock at 13 hours on the game clock. The 2 o'clock on 14 hours on the game clock. 3 o'clock on, on 15 hours on the game clock. 4, 4 o'clock window will be at 16 hours on the game clock. And the 4 o'clock one will be gotten at 16 hours on the game clock. Now, we, uh, now, now that I've explained that, I figure we should go ahead and just jump right into uh, collecting all the treasure chests that we are currently missing. So let's just go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and start with here in Neverland on Hook's ship and just work our way, work our way backwards. I will go ahead and show off the summons that we haven't shown off. We have, we haven't shown off Genie, so let's go ahead and show that one off in here real quick. Since I'm not doing much else during this bonus episode. As you can see, Genie just uh, basically does random magic spells once you target. You 
Now we can't get now the only treasure chests we won't be able to get here on Hook's ship are the ones behind this door because we don't have the yellow trinity. So those will be left behind, but that's about it. We're also going to pick up all of the uh, red, green, and blue trinities that we have not gotten. And in this save file, we haven't gotten any of them except for the green trinity required to access the ladder here on Hook's ship. So we basically have all of them to get. go I think the fastest way to get all the treasure chests uh, oh no we can't go through the door okay but since we don't need to fight anything we can skip all the fights and just move on and luckily with the mod refix I can just open treasure chests even during battle so So what's that? What's that last door? Okay, so we're in these two. Okay, we can't get in that one. Interesting. Okay, that's fine. So we'll just go up here. Open this one. Oh wait, it's not here, okay. There is an enemy I need to show off in these in these bonus episodes as well, or a couple. This was one of them. The, the That's the jet balloon. He is much easier to, to defeat if you have, uh, if you have, what's it called? If you have arrow raw or, or arrow gun, because then you def to deflect the uh, enemies that he throws at you. There's a right white trinity there we won't be able to get for a while, so no worries there. I believe that's all of the treasures in Neverland. Aside from the clock tower treasures. So let's go get those. I believe there's a save file, a save point right here so we can just warp out and warp back in. Nope, not here. It's the other door. Yep, there it is. And gummy ship, and then we jump in, jump back to here to get back to Big Ben really quick. Because there are some treasure chests. There's at least one here. And we're at 7.33, so we, we're not quite ready to get the 8 o'clock treasure chest yet. And there's a flare gummy. That is an engine, which we can uh, throw on our gummy ship to make us go even faster. 
Not that we need to. Alright, we're gonna do Atlantica first because it's I'm I may we may as well just get it out of the way. Because the less we have less times we have to be there the better, honest like. And we're gonna start uh, at Tranquil Grotto and just make our way forward. We're basically gonna ignore pretty much all enemies as much as we can, since except for uh, here, the shells that give you treasures will not open if there's enemies around, so we will have to defeat them for that. Mithril shard, that's useful. You gotta hit it just right. All right, now uh, let's see. Next treasure chest should be. Oh, this place is this place is amazing sometimes. Fire! 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 See ya! Here, that'll be helpful. And the cottage. And we got that fire one already. So I think that clears out all of the treasures here. And this. Oh, wait, nope, one more over here. And there's some mithril that'll be helpful. Sadly, they, uh, the the clam shells have really good treasures that we kind of will will need for synthesis. So, eh, what are you gonna do? Where's my where's my enemies? Someone's showed up. Okay, there. Okay. But what is up with Donald? Why is he not using... Oh. Well, that would make a lot of sense. Not sure why I had him set up like that, but whatever. That would make a lot of sense. When I was redoing the, uh, when I was recreating this file, re uh, making the file over again for this, I didn't realize that I had done that, had accidentally set up Donald like that for the hook fight. No wonder he was so useless.
quick, sir. Okay, I'll have to tell you right now, my Windows my Windows desktop is a screenshot of this game. The wallpaper is a screenshot of this game, so it's really confusing sometimes. Since I'm playing this in windowed mode, it's just like I'll, I'll look to the I'll look to the bottom corner and see I see that uh, it looks like I have the screenshot is of me at full health because I'm sitting in a save point, and it's I keep thinking that I actually have full health and HP, full health and mana. Because of the screenshot. The screenshot wallpaper. Okay, I may as well get the stop out of this. That was useful, actually. Left. Now I can probably open that chest that's having I'm having an issue with that I was just having an issue with. There we go, mithril shard. Okay, now we've got that. Now I th think there's one chest next to Ursula's place. We need to grab. Oh wait, nope, that's the wrong wrong area. Now luckily we just need to go over here to get to, to get to where we need to go. Or a calcum, so that's useful. Mega 
potion. Maybe not the most useful, but still useful. Now where's the exit? There it is. We'll pay a visit to Ariel's Grotto to grab the treasure there. Or a couple, I should say. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Nope. There's a cottage. Not the final treasure, though. Not the most important treasure at that. I believe that is the one we want. Yep, torn page. Those will eventually be useful. I believe there's one more treasure to get. Before we head to, uh, closer to... Okay, yeah, we want to get rid of these guys. Okay, good. You hit... You hit one and they all go away. Good. That's because those are special white shrooms. That, uh, that if you use stop on them, they, uh, spawn a Final Mix exclusive enemy. And we can't defeat it. I mentioned this in the episode, but we can't defeat him. Because we can't, we, first of all, we don't have the limit we need. And second of all, we can't, even if we had it, we couldn't use it here in the, uh, here in Atlantica. alive. Oh, you. There we go. Got my elixir. Picked up that final treasure. So, okay, so now. We can 
move on to the next world. Okay, and we'll move on to Halloween Town next. Luckily, all the rest of the world won't be as slow as at least again. again to get to these treasures. The only thing I don't like about Kingdom Hearts is that unlike Kingdom Hearts 2, it doesn't have a treasure tracker. So you don't know if you've gotten all the treasure chests in, uh, in a world unless you're actively keeping an eye out. page. Okay, we may as well try to get the arrow arts here. Hopefully those hills stay still. And let us cast it on him. Because I don't think we have the arrow arts yet. Stop and we have stop and arrow. We need all the rest. We will eventually get them really quickly. In the other save file, I had all of them, but uh, again, this is a new save file that I haven't. I didn't really mess with the white shrooms as of yet in this save file. This right here is a secret area that only opens up after you've beaten the world. That is Halloween Town. It's got a few treasure chests in it, including some puppies that you make that you'll definitely want to pick up. And a holy gummy. Which is another engine.
And some dark matter, which is always useful. For synthesis, don't you know? I believe that's all the treasure chests in this one tiny area. So now we can go back to where we were at. If I can find the right door. Oops. That's not what I wanted. There we go. I wanted to get back to the menu so I can switch out Fyra for... Uh, Fyra for Sundara. Thank you. Nope, I think that's all the I think we've gotten all the treasure chests over here, so there's a white there's a white trinity here on the moonlit hill, but uh, of course we cannot do that yet because we don't have white trinity and won't again for a while. Uh, and I think after episode ten we should have it. When we saw these uh these are rare truffles. We saw these in in the episode I think bef uh when we were here in episode nine. The idea is to just bounce them, keep them in the air, and uh, you can get a pretty decent amount of experience from them. But that's not why we're here. We're here for the treasure chests, of course, and just the treasure chests. Some defense up, and over here. Here is ah oh, damn it. Well if I can land A meteor gummy. Not bad. Now here also is another there's going to be there should be another uh what is the word? Uh Final Mix exclusive enemy here that should spawn in. Who has an interesting gimmick. That's it. There he is, the Camara. Now he he'll have an interesting gimmick. As soon as I de deplete his HP, you'll see the gimmick. Because it's not actually the it, he's a creation of Dr. Finkelstein, and he's not it's not actually the trash that's the enemy. It's this three these three skulls that are inside it. Come on. 
If you can do, if you beat, I think it's if you beat him fast enough or if you, uh, do good enough. Basically, if you fight him well enough, that's when you get your synthesis type item reward from him. And again, he's one that's easier, easiest to get, it's easiest to get the, uh, synthesis items off of him with Arrow Ra and Arrow Ga because you can deflect the, uh, skulls a whole bunch of times. And that... And the tech points you get... I, no, it's, that's what it is. If you... The more you deflect those skulls, the ba the more tech points you get, and the, uh... More likely you are to receive the synthesis type item reward. I believe we picked up all of the treasures in Halloween Town at this point, so now we are free to move on to the next world. Luckily, we've shown off all of the uh, special Final Mix Heartless that we can at this point. So, oh, we missed one treasure chest. Interesting. Well, let's we'll pick that up on our way out. I think that's all of them. Yep, that is all of them. Uh, I thought there might be one more up here, but there's not. So we are on our way out. Luckily, there's shortcuts all over Halloween Town. This should actually, I, well, no, we'll need to visit Monstro one other time to get the White Trinity that's here, but, uh, that's, that's it. We're getting everything else that we can. First, the Blue Trinity that's here. Okay, now we have Water Glaive. That is Dumbo, and I'll show that off later. Cottage. Scan Gummy, which we don't need at this point. Because we've already got one attached to our gummy ship. More puppies. Trinity Trust Tower. Fell off. Okay, that's not good. I need to actually pick up that treasure chest. I need to actually open it. Okay, get back up here, get here, and off we go to grab a treasure chest. All right, and we'll go over here. I. I don't believe we. I don't believe in this safe file. I've picked up this. Uh... No, I haven't. Okay.
Now we're gonna basically go the normal way we would throughout the normal level, just so I don't lose track of where I am. No, there's nothing in here, so we can skedaddle right to the next chamber. More puppies. Here I do need to kill all the enemies because I believe there's a trinity on the other side. And uh, trinities, unlike treasure chests, cannot be activated if there's enemies, no matter what I do. Trinity there.
but luckily, luckily we can get right back to where we were. There's the blue trinity that I knew was here. That's all the treasure chests we can get here. and we're at 50 minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and close this episode out here and we'll do uh, and we'll have one more bonus episode to get all the remaining treasures so we'll be uh, we'll be back for bonus episode number two in a bit <laughs> <laughs> 